Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and today I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on a, on a Fronius Garbo, Primo, Simo or Eco Solar Inverter. Now there's a couple of things you'll need to do this. One is a large flathead screwdriver, the other is a USB stick and you will need a computer connected to the internet to download the latest firmware update. So first off, we're going to grab our USB stick and we're going to go to the computer and uh, find that latest update and download it to the USB stick ready to insert into the Fronius inverter. So here we are on our web browser and we want to go to Fronius.com. So let's just type that in, in the browser here and press enter. And up the top right hand corner, we've got download center. That's where we want to go to to find the Fronius update here and we want to type in our search term we're going to put in USB update and we'll search for that over the site and here on solar energy we can find it we can see it's found three results so we we'll go to the solar energy website and it's a good idea to put in your relevant country. We're in Australia here, so we'll click click there. And you can see we've got two USB updates. One's for the Fronius IGTL model of inverter, and the other one's for the Galvo, Simo, Primo, and Eco range of, US, of uh, Fronius inverters. So we're going to click on that one there and download it. Okay, so once that's downloaded onto your computer, you should be able to go to your uh, downloads folder and you'll see there's a zip file here, the FW firmware Fronius update. So we're going to click on that and you can see the update file here. We're going to copy that, we're going to right click and copy and we're going to open up our USB drive. And if there's any files in your USB drive already, you want to make sure you delete them. We don't want anything in here, so we're just deleting that. Yes, we want to delete our old update. And we're going to copy our new update onto the USB drive. There we are. And you just want to eject your USB drive. And then we're going to be right to go back to the inverter and install this update. Alright, so here we are back at the inverter. Now you want to grab the large flathead screwdriver you've got and undo the screws on either side here. So just uh, undo them here. And then this, this cover will unclip. You know, you clip forward, like, un unclip forward like that and then you can pull down and get into this uh, the area down here. Now Underneath, down here, we can see we've got a the, the data logger card. This is a Wi-Fi antenna here. And uh, over here, we can see the USB port. That's where we want to take our USB drive and plonk it in there, like so. Okay, and then we want to go up to the screen here. So we're currently on the Now menu. We're going to press the Escape button here, go across to Setup, Press enter, and we want to go down to USB. So, down to USB there. And what we want to do is software update, update there. And then it's going to look for the uh, version of firmware it sees. So it can see the old, that's what's on there at the moment. We can see the new, so this is a newer version. So uh, then now what's on there at the, uh, at the moment. So we want to update it with this. So we're going to press the enter button here and then just information about the firmware version on the each power stack there and we want to press enter there and it's going to copy all the data across and update the inverter now this this does take a couple of minutes usually so we'll just wait patiently for it to all happen okay so the inverter has just rebooted after the firmware update and now it's starting to ramp up its power production again. And so now we just need to remove the USB stick and it's always important that you go into the setup, go down to USB and press unplug USB before you actually pull the 
stick out. Just like when you pull out a USB stick out of a computer, you want to press the, the eject button. So we just remove that now. And we can go back to the main menu. And we're all good there. So obviously now we just need to put the cover back on the uh, Fronius inverter and we'll all be back in action. So look, I hope that's been helpful for you in understanding how to update your Fronius inverter with a USB stick. Thanks very much for watching this video.